We have breaking news on Houdini Way, where, Ke where cousins Henry and Keats found themselves battling for their lives against a shark-headed zombie. Our story begins when the boys lost their bikes in the river at the bottom of a steep cliff hill and needed to earn money to buy new ones. They found a help wanted out at outside Purple Rabbit Market that promised big new money for doing jobs at Hallway House. The boys found out all the list of jobs taped to the door from Mr. Archibald Sigal, who was not home at the time. This list included weeding the garden, bringing the box of light bulbs down from the attic, sweeping the garage, and battling and defeating the sh a shark-headed zombie. I have a bad feeling about this, said Keats. After Henry and Keats finished weeding the garden, a dark fin stuck out of the ground and started coming towards them. A giant shark rose out of the ground and chased them into the house, trying to eat them. They shut themselves in the house and pressed the alarm. It soon became clear that this house was magical. Mr. Sigum had even some spell books and a wand that looked like a stick with a broken light bulb on it. The spell on Hodges Apple Zombie had a big bite out of it and the boys had to figure out what the last words of the spell were. Meanwhile, a shark-headed zombie was trying to break through the wall and Henry and Keats had to fight their way through a sinkhole in the kitchen, a rug full of faces in the hallway, and bookworms the size of giant snakes. They had to outsmart the bookworms to break out of the library, and that's when Keats found the missing part of the Zap the Zombie spell. They still had to get to the attic to get a new light bulb for the one, and time was running out. They climbed the, to the attic and found a box of light bulbs. But then Henry and the light bulbs fell through the floor and landed in the garage. Oh, the hole sealed up by the magic and Keats had to find his way back down to his cousin so they could fix the wand and say the spell. The shark hit a zombie, chased Keats on its back flippers, and he thought he was going to be eaten for sure. It took a lot of teamwork and a lot of bravery, but the cousins managed to fix the wand and save the spells after the zombie. When Mr. Sigum showed up, it turned out he was a great magician, and for the boy's hard work, he let them keep the wand gave them, and gave them a solid gold coin. This is reporting live from NGY News. This is Madeline Yoder. Good night. Attack of the Shark-Headed Zombie by Bill Doyle. Report and illustrations by Madeline Yoder. And the Shark-Headed Zombie.